Well, if uh, if the image isn't clear, what my channel is going to be about, it's going to be about this kind of stuff here. Um, the headline comes from the Daily Wire. BLM co-founder buys a $1.4 million home in a virtually all-white area. And black commenters slam her uh, commentators. Well, I mean, let's look at the the first part of the headline. BLM co-founder buys $1.4 million home. That's all you need to know. Um, you know, this harkens back to me... Uh, you know, a sort of form of hypocrisy. This lady here claims to be a Marxist, which is a communist. And I can see why, because um, the communists that are in the upper echelons of society love communism because they get all the stuff while you live in the dirt. So... Mm. This should ring some sort of chord with anyone that is following the Black Lives Matter movement, the no justice, no peace, all this other nonsense. I mean, this should kind of hit home for you. In my last video, I talked about how companies and people used these woke ideologies for personal and financial gains. And there's a lot of reasons to use woke ideology. Financial gain being one, political gain Gains of power, control, I mean, there is the, it's endless. It's been used by the left for a very long time to secure power. And, um, and once they get power, everybody's lives become miserable. We are heading in the direction of communism, folks. And if you and I are not willing to do what it takes to stop it, which means uh, basically stop funding it, any way that anywhere that we see it, in any way it rears its ugly heads, uh, we're going to be in trouble, and so are our children. Um, typically, if someone was very serious about a movement, say as BLM, um, they would take that one point four million dollars and they would put it toward their cause. But we see here that. Uh, she feels the need to go out and spend that money for $1.4 million home. Now, some of you might say, well, you know, she did all that work representing black lives and all this other stuff. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, I'm Catholic. And what does that have to do with anything? Well, the Catholic Church has had a lot of uh, problems in the past, and they continue to have problems um, now, but... The majority of the people that are in the Catholic Church, the majority of the priests, the majority of the nuns, and those people, they do live their life for God. And they, you know, the majority of them um, do ultimately what they feel is good. Now, when you have someone in the Catholic Church that is doing what they feel is the work of God. Let's say Mother Teresa. And let's take Mother Teresa, Saint Teresa, as she's known today, and compare Saint Teresa to this lady. Mother Teresa traveled around the world helping poor people. And she didn't just help poor people. She lived in their conditions. She lived in their conditions. All the money that she raised from the church or any third party went that's my great pyrenees in the background they are infamous for barking at butterfly farts but anyway mother teresa raised all this money to help these people she didn't raise this money and go spend it on a big home she didn't raise this money and go buy a new car with it or even a portion of it she literally gave her entire life and dedicated it and sacrificed her life, even in the comfort of any kind of monastery or anything of that nature, she dedicated her entire life to the poor to the point of living like them. And that is how much she believed in her cause. And when you see a woman that does that, that should say something to you that that should be the standard of what people do. 
when they are trying to fight for a cause. They should be willing to live for the cause that they are fighting for and to live with the people they are fighting for. This is not one of those situations. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of crazy. So, like I said, she's uh, she did good for herself, you know. And who knows? I, do I know where she got this money from? Maybe she got it from her fundraising activities. Maybe she got it from uh, the same way all the ex-presidents make their millions as speaking fees. I don't know. But regardless, she started this movement. And it would seem to me that she's not really staying true to the movement. You know, she doesn't need a $1.4 million home in one of the nicest areas in the United States to, um, you know, to get her point across. I just don't, I don't, I don't see the need in that. And that's not, not a very good look in my opinion. Um, but you know, the daily wire is reporting on it. Well, some of you might not care for Ben Shapiro and I understand if you don't, but, um, if I go back here and I do a Google search for $1.4 million home, and then I hit on Google News. Oh. Well. Look at that. Google doesn't seem to want to report on this. Wow. I wonder if they'll report on it in page two. Maybe that's just a mistake. Um, mm, nope. It's not even reported on page two. Wow. I wonder if I type in BLM what that'll do. Let's see. Oh, look, nothing reported. Maybe I should be more direct. Co founder. I'll even put in the uh, little dash there. Best places to work. Oh, because that's what I'm talking about. Let me uh, use apostrophes just to see if any mainstream media might be reporting on it. Uh, one point four million dollar. We don't want to use a uh, home in there because we don't know. That was one. Oh. oh, Black Lives Matter opens up about its finances one month ago. Uh, looks like no mainstream media outlets really reporting on this. Weird. That's really weird. We're so screwed. That's all I got.